Hey, Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to anyone who is returning and welcome to anyone new. Now, today we are asking, how will your situation resolve? And alongside that, we're going to ask, what will the outcome be? We're actually going to take a sneaky peek into the outcome. Of course, any outcome is always, to some extent, dictated by what we do in the here and now. You know, our present circumstances, our actions, our thoughts, our words are actually creating our future. So we're really going to be seeking a lot of guidance as well. We'll be asking, how will your situation resolved? Is there anything um, that you can or should be doing? We'll be asking about that and then we'll be asking you know about the out the outcome of this the potential outcome so we're going to draw three piles together and we'll also draw a rune and a charm so you have for pile one you have beta of spirit wolf this is your card for pile two Okay, I have part, I think pile two and pile three here actually, yes. So pile two, we have Spirit of Bear. This is 396 Hertz. And this is actually the card number 15 as well. I didn't say this, um, Beta of Spirit Wolf is card number 23 for those of you that really tune in with the numbers as well. So pile 123, Spirit Bear of 396 Hertz, card number 15 is pile two. And pile three, we have the card 43, Karma of Kutala. It could be Kutu Ala. I apologize actually. Kutu Ala. I will check that. I will actually check that pronunciation before we get to your reading. But yes, 43 Karma of Kutu Hala. Now, yeah, if any of you guys know how I should have been pronouncing that, sometimes you guys are absolutely amazing. Put it in the comments so people can check in on that if they wish to. Let's look at your runes and your charms. So we have for pile one. We have the Rune of Fehu, Possessions, and you have a leaf, a really beautiful leaf. Okay, Possessions, Nourishment as well comes through with this Rune. Okay, then we have the Blank Rune for Pile 2, and you have a dragon. Wow, that's stunning. So you have a dragon and the blank rune. So this is pile two. I feel like I don't want to put that on the little bear's nose. Well, not such a little bear, is it really? It's a big bear. Okay. Then pile three, we have the rune of Perth. Okay. And this is a rune of initiation. And we have the bat. So that is for pile three. Okay. Beautiful souls. Wow. These readings are feeling powerful. That's all I'm going to say at this stage. I don't know if you guys are picking up on that. Now, beautiful souls, if you're needing any more time, um, I will leave the video running for just a few moments longer, but you can also press the pause button if you need longer. Now, I would say, you know, it's probably a really good idea to just really center yourself in your situation and um, yeah, just get focused on it and see which of these piles you're drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one pile, even while you're focusing on a particular situation, it may be that there's more than one course of action that you could be taking, or maybe different layers of information, maybe more than one thing you can be doing to move this forwards. We obviously always have to wait and see what shows up in a reading. The reading itself and the cards um, are here to guide us. Um, we can't dictate how that's gonna be, but um, take as long as you need and just really, really focus on where you're at and trust that you will be shown or led to the pile that you need to be connected with. Beautiful souls, um, I will see you in the readings in just a moment.
Hey, Pile One, welcome to your reading. Beautiful souls, this is actually about navigating transition. Now, we are asking how will your situation resolve? Is there anything you can do? And of course, what will be the outcome? Now, I do feel we're being shown a providential outcome, a good outcome, because the rune of Fehu, nourishment, possessions, this speaks of ambition satisfied. Okay, so it's a beautiful energy. It's, um, do you know, I have to just say this to you guys. L literally, I'm just looking out of my window and it's very early. I'm doing this reading really early in the morning. There is a frost and one of my beautiful trees. Um, I don't have a huge garden, but I have trees in my garden. This tree literally has just been lit up by sunshine, by the rising sun. It's, it's turned golden. Um, you know, from its waist upwards kind of thing. I just feel like there's a new dawn coming for you. I really feel we're being shown this in this moment and feels, um, it feels very like something will be lifted, something will be removed. Uh, it will be a new dawn, like a veil will be lifted or the mist will rise or something that feels as if it's stuck as, or as if you not, have not been able to find your way through it, will, you will find your way through this. It feels like it's been quite big. With the leaf, I feel that we're indicated, you know, things will come to, a bit like something will come to its conclusion, like in the, I was really hearing the fall with this leaf, like seeing an autumn leaf that, you know, when again, trees again, tuning in with, with this beautiful tree energy, it's, uh, I think something will reach a point where it's, it's run its course. But I do think there's a feeling with the beta of spirit wolf that you're needing to uh, have to navigate your way through. With the 23, I'm hearing two and three as well. So two to three months, perhaps, or it could be two to three weeks. Or if this is very immediate, it could be two to three days. But I'm hearing two to three. Um, that will be relevant to some of you, but not all. It's a general reading. So you've always got to take the messages as they come to you and know that if it's not right for you, it, it's probably a message for someone else. So Beta of Spirit Wolf. Wolves are able to navigate intuitively. If you think of the senses of wolves, of, of dogs, of dogs generally, you know, their scent, their ability to smell, their ability to hear is so acute compared to us. And what that means is that they can navigate intuitively. It's why we associate them with the moon. It's why they respond to the moon and howl at the moon. Um, they are in alignment with their intuition. And if there is danger ahead, they'll divert. They won't necessarily go face on to it. They only go face on if they have to or if it's appropriate because their intuition guides them ahead of time. This card kind of tells us that you have more resourcefulness than you believe and that you will be able to navigate through this, whatever this is for you, and it will reach its conclusion. I'm hearing two to three again, so that will be relevant to to some of you, but that timing, what that is, two to three days, two to three, um, two to three weeks, two to three months, I, I don't know. But let's draw some, let's draw your tarot cards first. This is a lovely pack. It focuses um, very much, it's the Rebel Heart Tarot, it focuses very much on what's going on around us at the moment. It's a very contemporary pack. Okay, so you have the devil. Right. You're trying to navigate yourself away from something that has felt really like a tie or a burden or just, it, it could be for some of you, even you, some of you could be navigating through something like an addiction to something. For some of you, it could be that you're navigating away from a very unhealthy situation or a person or a group of people who have, um, I want to say had an excessive influence over you or greater control over you than you would want them to have. But this is about you finding your way through this and out the other side, or it could be a situation that's felt out of your control. Okay, we have the Two of Cups. Hmm, I feel that help is coming actually to you. Help is going to be coming your way. Um, there are people you can rely on, friends, family, a, 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 spe a special person, King of Pentacles. 
Yeah, and I think I think you have the ability to have the courage to pull this one off, actually. I think maybe you're feeling like you don't have the courage to see this through or the strength to really step up. For some of you, if you're dealing with any form of addiction, and that could not just be substances, it could be an internal thinking pattern or some really limiting belief that you can't do this. Um, I'm seeing here, this card is saying, uh, you can step up, you can be the best version of you. You know, there's something about moving from like a safe zone into a, a more stronger position, stepping up, holding your own, taking the actions you need. I do think maybe for some of you, there is an action to be taken, even if we're struggling with moving away from a difficult person, we very often have to be someone who then instigates some actions. Yeah, 10 of pentacles. So we've got a super fab outcome here. Look at this pinata of people. This is, you're, go, you're going to come through this and out the other side, and you're going to come through this and out the other side in a really big way, actually. So this is interesting, ambition satisfied. If you're working on a project and you're wondering how is this going to resolve, if you're feeling bogged down or you're just never going to make the deadline or do whatever it is, um, and it's really weighing you down, you're being encouraged not to be overly stressed by it. So the, the energy of the, of the beta uh, brain waves, the beta frequency, it, it sort of it's, it doesn't have a consistent frequency. It ranges, and I, forgive me, I can't remember the exact range, but it ranges from quite a steady low range to really high. And the high end range is stress. And the low end range is, is relaxation. So it may be that you're needing to genuinely look, you know, slow it down, have a cup of tea. Literally, um, if you're navigating a, a big workload and you're wondering how am I going to get to this or how will I fix this or how will I achieve this you're going to achieve it if you're working to a deadline just chill out and slow down it, your stress will make it harder to achieve because you won't be thinking straight so you won't be able to intuitively navigate this transition now this is about a transition Coming right back to that start and really being reminded of that again. There is a transitionary phase. So this isn't just like a work project where you've got a lot on. There will be a specific transition to get through from one position to another. It's not just something that's ongoing. There is a definitive outcome that is needed here. The outcome is fabulous. Now, what I also hear in the rune of uh, Fehu, you see, this rune speaks of unexpected rewards and gains that come from unexpected happenings, surprises. So I think there could be some sort of twists and turns that come along that, yeah, that they're, they're unexpected, but they're, they're leading you in the direction you need to go. It, it would be like a wolf, you know, if, if a wolf pack is moving from one place to another and, and then something gets in the way and they divert but they'll find their way around it they'll find a better route and then there's there'll be something of benefit on that route i feel we should draw more cards for you can we have some more information about this yeah temperance we have judgment okay yeah you're really needing to keep yourself in check a little bit here uh, in balance here because your stress could make it harder for you to see clearly and the judgment will come you know there will be and i'm seeing an out of the box solution coming to you here i'm seeing an out of the box solution okay we have two cards here for you so five of swords and the nine of cups. Do you know, out of something that is extremely unexpected, I love this imagery here of these knives, everyday knives, everyday circumstances, and yet we have this kind of amazing flying saucer coming here, bringing light. I feel like um, there'll be, a, a, it may, this may actually be the circumstance for some of you, something quite specific going on around you that you're really feeling like it's, causing you major difficulty and yet within that i think you're going to find an outcome that's really fabulous the nine of cups 
So if something is also departing or leaving your life at the moment, there is a really positive outcome coming from this. After the event, when you've come through this transition, you'll look back and realize that something had to depart or someone had to depart or be let go of. Actually, very specifically, because the outcome that you desire couldn't have happened otherwise. Let's draw some oracle cards here and just ask for a little bit more information and also try and get, I think we should find out a little bit more about your situation and ask some questions. You know, what can you actually be doing? Is there anything you need to actually be doing? So we have here, first of all, pray from the heart. Prayer can really move mountains, reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. What a beautiful kind of energy. What I'm seeing here and what your card is saying to me here is, is that you are, you are actually being guided. There is divine guidance around you in this circumstance. You're not alone, even though you may be feeling like you're having to handle something pretty big. You're ready for more. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the changes you've been contemplating. Do you know, whatever your situation, this is really telling us you are ready for more. This is a circumstance and, and this will resonate for you, not just, I think, in a career pathway, but it, the general resonance of this card is about stepping up. I really feel this is, this is a time for you to step up rather than down. There's an opportunity for you to be the best version of you. There's an opportunity for you to, um, to be way more than, to, uh, to, to be more, to have more. But there's definitely a stepping up and you're in this transition here. What may we ask is the anxiety perhaps around this. We'll draw from this pack. What's the anxiety that's around this for pile, my pile one? What's going on that's maybe causing them a difficulty here? Okay, recognize the signs from above. Four, four, four. How interesting. I was really tuning in with the two at two to three. Two to three, four, four, four. There's symbols, signs around you. But maybe, maybe you're a little bit too stressed to see them. I feel like I'm being shown all the signs are there. All the signs of success are there. And yet for some reason, um, you know, there's all the signs are there that you could transform a situation. And yet somehow you're not quite taking an ownership of what you can really see with the devil. The, 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 how interesting, the temperance card. We're seeing in the temperance card, we're having this rainbow poured into this cup of tea. We have the cups here, the two of cups. There is, I feel like there's something right in front of you and you're denying yourself the opportunity to believe that it's real. That's part of the problem here. There's almost like this denial of something you really want or you're just sort of saying to yourself, well, I couldn't really have that or I couldn't be that person. But you're actually ready for more. Your soul is singing for more, shouting for more wanting more and yet somehow when maybe this is fear of disappointment in the past you have been let down badly or you just didn't feel that you were worthy somewhere in your history you were let down now whether this goes way way back to your childhood or whether it's in more recent history you were led to believe that you were not good enough and somehow I feel like this has haunted you it's like it's hung over you. And the situation you're in at the moment is actually, however challenging it may feel, it's a situation in which you can step up. And it's actually going to be easier than you realize because you have guidance around you. You are being guided. This, is, this circumstance is leading you to somewhere where you can basically have more and be more. But it all involves you stepping up. This is the deal here. It's all about you stepping up. Let's draw more cards and get a little bit more information. Maybe have a little bit more information, please. Saturn, the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. Okay, if any of you are around the, the ages of the Saturn returns, which is kind of when we're coming up to 30, you know, 28, 29, 30, that kind of age, or um, uh, sort of 58, 59, 60, that kind of an age, Saturn returns. You know, I feel this has the energy of a Saturn return where and when, when we experience our Saturn returns, we're often given us 
that Saturn gives us these real big life lessons. It's like opening a major doorway of opportunity sometimes, but it often comes through a situation that challenges us and challenges us to step up and be the best version of us. Sometimes things can really come to a head and you might find you're doing a lot of reviewing about where you've come from and the choices and the decisions that you made in the past and whether you feel and they've led you to where you are now. Uh, this is a time to learn from the past. It's not a time to dwell on the past in a negative um, sort of self-persecutory kind of way. You're ready for more here. Okay, this is what we're being shown here. May we have any additional guidance? Yeah, this card is really flying out from the base here. The sun, your immortal spirit, purpose and destiny is involved. So this is a really important time here because you can step up and have more or step away or step through something. Everything in your reading is saying, you know, how will your situation resolve? Um, I think the whole essence of your reading is, is sort of about you giving yourself permission to believe in yourself and to step up. I think the situation will resolve actually very, very easily as you, each step you choose to step towards what you want, when you navigate a transition, each step you take will lead you to, towards the goal that you desire and very much in real terms with the Saturn energy very struck by the sun rising and the energy, the, the light of the sun hitting the tree in my garden. Literally, it was illuminated. It really is. It's almost like the whole tree has turned golden. Your immortal spirit, purpose and destiny is involved. Okay, let's get a little bit more information and then, oh, okay. <laughs> and then we'll actually kind of look at potentially the outcome three cards coming through here for you so we have confusion okay I can see maybe you are really really feeling confused about where you go ah this is really interesting and then complacency and perception how fascinating okay I think in a way <clears throat> this is really really interesting because the card of perception is like it's about taking a risk um, it really is. It's shifting your perspectives, taking a risk. It's like there's a doorway literally right in front of you and you have to step through that doorway into, that's the story of this card, and um, she steps through this doorway right in front of her and um, it's dark and she's really not sure where she's going, but she perseveres and then she reaches another doorway and when she opens the doorway, she finds herself almost like where she's come from. It's like she's done a full circle, but now, so, so she starts off being in a garden that is not, you know, a bit barren. And then she opens this doorway, goes through this little dark passageway, this transition, reaches another doorway, dares to open it. And there is the, the same garden full of life and amazingness. So it's like, it's like she finds herself or she finds what she's looking for. So whatever that would mean for you, this is the point where a really key message here, your situation, how will it resolve? I think it will resolve and the outcome will be slightly dependent on your decision to step up or, or not, because there's an energy of confusion and complacency around you. The guidance is actually really clear. The circumstance will come to an end one way or the other. I, I sort of feel like in many ways you're in a position with the judgment card where it has to sort itself out. It's going to reach a conclusion, but you're being invited to take charge of the outcome here. It's like what we do, what we think, what we do, what we say, and having the courage with the lion here, having the courage to step up for something. It's almost like fighting for yourself, stepping up for something that you want, holding out for something that you want and believing in it. You know, we can all get a bit down in the dumps a bit, it's not so much complacency, but you know, we can stay in a safe zone or, and, and we can sort of you shroud ourselves with um, guilt or difficulty or be shrouded by fog, which comes from other people telling us, you know, maybe I think going back to that childhood thing or recently, you've had some kind of a situation or maybe more than one where you were honestly ended up believing that, you know, like something you would really want would never be yours or that you could never, it wouldn't matter how much you strive for it, it, you'll never ever have it. It's like that's for other people. 
That's what other people have. It's not what I have. And you can have this. Look at this huge flower here. I think we should ask about the outcome here. I think we should be asking about what is the outcome, really. I also just want to add to that, because truly, honestly, beautiful souls, it's hard to step up, isn't it? It's really hard to navigate something, especially in the face of some really, really challenging stuff. And I just want to really put, put my heart out to you in that way, because I know this is easier said than done, stepping through these challenges. What I do want to say is you really are being guided. There is so much protection and support and love around you. Uh, your spirit team are absolutely working with you to support you. And I, I do feel that the stepping up will bring, it's almost like making that decision. I'm going to see this through. I'm going to step up and be the best version of me. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it. And just taking a tiny step, step by step, tiny steps, you'll find that then unexpected surprises, rewards, gains, unexpected doorways and pathways open for you. And that for me feels like it's amazing because it's going to really assist you um, in showing you the way. The steps will be given to you, I feel. But let's ask about the kind of outcome of this. So we have... Oh, wow. She is the queen, queen of wands. The queen of wands is the queen of transition. Uh, you know, she, she's often depicted with a leopard, which indicates transition. She, she moves from a place in some, some of the stories of this card. She is someone who walks with a black panther. She walks in the shadows. And then her transition is the leopard because she finds her position as, um, it's like her own leadership. She finds the lioness within. And the, the, um, the leopard is there to remind her of that transition where she's come from the growing you then have the knight of cups what i'm and then you have the king of pentacles wow so you have the king of pentacles i think we have the king of pentacles here don't we yeah twice okay right so we're sit, we're being shown a really really fruitful outcome and what i'm also being shown here is that this is going to happen fast with the knight of cups so the outcome we're getting is that whatever it is you're hoping for I sort of feel like I want to say you can have it. And, you know, the King of Pentacles is such a strong energy. What I think is you can, not only can you have it, but you're going to be able to get it quite quickly. The key here is the steps that you take for yourself. Maybe we just have any additional guidance around this. I mean, the outcome is just so fruitful, it's untrue. I mean, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. It's a fabulous outcome. That's it. What else do we have here? We have Princess of Cups. Oh, do you, you have to believe in yourself. Okay, really, really, Princess of Cups, you need to believe in yourself and be prepared to make kind of decisive choices. With the Eight of Pentacles, again, I'm seeing something move. It's interesting that the Knight of Cups says this will transform very quickly. Okay, so this transition that you're in is going to transform very quickly. I'm seeing the, the best possible outcome and the one that you yourself personally desire at the end of it. So that will be unique to you each. What I'm also seeing is this real, there's a determination required here. You know, it's like make your choices, make your decisions, be determined and, and hold on to the end goal that you want. And literally the wheel will turn um, eight of pentacles i think in th there will be real practical pragmatic steps that are shown to you each time you set a resolve in your mind to do this something will come along and you'll be assisted it would be like if you were struggling let's say with an addiction and you're somebody you get up in the morning and you decide let's say you've been drinking too much you're not going to drink anymore this is just an analogy so it's not going to apply to everyone but the energy the flavor of the energy is here and you know you struggle at the end of the day you're tired and your instinct is is to kind of reach for for a drink or whatever that is but this is like you know with the two of cups here it's like someone then magically knocks on your door or gives you a quick text and says hey I'm going to see a film do you want to come out tonight and it diverts you from the thing that you didn't want to do and you are able to then go and follow through with the thing you do want to do I feel like the steps will be opened for you in a really pragmatic, practical way. 
and I, I think there's so much help and assistance here. So if you've got a habitual thinking pattern and you're really going over and over stuff in your mind, and hey, you know, a friend phones and says, how are you doing? Um, and it diverts you. There's, there's, I feel there's going to be diversions coming in to assist you to get to the end goal, to step up. And once it happens, it's going to transform very quickly. This is all about your, your own personal resolve, letting go of the doubts that I feel have been handed to you in some way through circumstances and you know left you feeling deep inside yourself that somehow something can't be yours when really it absolutely can and I do think literally step by step you'll be shown the way and this will happen the transformation will happen much more quickly than you believe is possible and you are going to, it's kind of like you get to be at the top of your game somehow. So whatever you are navigating, whatever this transition, you have to, in a reading, really take the energy as it comes and, you know, hear how that resonates with your own circumstances. But my beautiful pile one, the outcome is really, really favorable. It's very much about you achieving something that you feel is unachievable in some way shape or form getting through this transition and seriously coming out um, the winner you come out on top pile one i'm sending you all the love in the world the biggest hug ever thank you so so much for being here um i'm sorry that you're going through such a tough time but it does feel like this is a stepping stone to something that gives you kind of in many ways the future you desire because when we do step up, you know, and we've really overcome a challenge from henceforth, the entire future that we, we create for ourselves is then on a different, it's like a totally different playing field. Pile one, loving your reading. I am sending you the biggest hug. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing um, if this reading is resonating with you. Oh, and if you'd like to be in my monthly prize drawer, I'm moving to giving away a lot of physical products this year because I'm going to be, um, I've always had a monthly prize drawer, but I'm, I'm bringing some more cards into the world. I already have a, a pack of Oracle cards, but and I give a pack of those away and my diaries, my moon diaries and journals. But I will be also bringing new cards into the world this year. So I will and other books as well. So um, I'm moving to giving away these products every uh, every month. So do keep a check out. I have a subscriber email list. Um, obviously you have to be a subscriber it's a subscriber offer if you add yourself to that then um, I'll put the link in the description box below and then once you're on that um, you can watch out for the announcement on YouTube here I announce the winners once a month beautiful souls and um, tons and tons and tons of love and um, I look forward to seeing you for some other readings if that is really resonating and working for you beautiful souls um, what more can I say there's so much possibility here for you there really is pile one Hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. Now, I just want to voice straight away that Spirit Bear of, of 396 Hertz, this is the card 15, is a card that actually speaks very specifically about overcoming guilt and fear and learning that you are worthy, learning that you are lovable, uh, coming out of hibernation, with the blank rune as well. This is a rune of possibility, infinite possibility. It does suggest a gestation period. Now, if you, your circumstance, your situation, we're asking how will your situation resolve? If your situation doesn't involve those any kind of strong emotions, this might not be the right reading for you. Um, it might be worth checking out one of the others because this is really speaking of overcoming some aspect of fear or guilt or a feeling that inside of you, it, it, I would call it almost fog, fear, obligation, guilt, like feeling like you are not good enough in some way with the dragon energy, seeing through the illusion. So there is something here about overcoming some element of yeah, I'm just going to stick with the fear and guilt because that's what this card speaks of so strongly. And finding yourself in some way. Let's draw tarot cards straight away. Let's dive into the context of this. Can we get information about the context of Pile 2's circumstances or situation? We have the High Priestess. 
we have the card of judgment okay this is really interesting so we've got a card of guidance really we've got but like things are coming to a head here we have the ten of pentacles we've got the four of swords and we have the seven of pentacles i feel like you are rebuilding yourself um in some way shape or form you've gained you've learned from an experience here it's been really it's been a seriously big learning curve for you guys that's absolutely clear now do you know i i feel like some of you have been you're either really judging yourselves or you've been really judged yeah that's what i feel like i feel like you've been judged or you, you know and just retired withdrawn maybe but maybe you withdrew from almost uh you've withdrawn from a circumstance or a situation or just withdrawn from the world to try and sort of almost like recover it's very interesting maybe there is a group of people who kind of judged you here maybe you're trying to work out like really who you are perhaps you've Something has happened that's caused you to really question your own, yeah, who you are and and maybe a circumstance, you've, there wasn't an obligation or something or you ended up doing something you didn't want to do. I feel like you've been drawn into something or something or a circumstance happened that kind of put you in a box or left you feeling boxed in or caged in or like you couldn't be you, you couldn't express yourself, you couldn't voice what you wanted to say. People have, either, either people have sat in judgment or you are afraid of people judging you or you are judging yourself or have judged yourself. Now, you're being asked to see through the illusion here. You have a lot to bring to the table here. Perhaps you just have really not felt good enough over a circumstance or a situation. Even if you gave it your total best shot, you've been left feeling you weren't good enough. Yeah, absolutely. Eight of Wands. You know, some of you may have been ghosted by somebody or kept in the dark or just, you know, stuff going on behind your back judged, criticised, or you've been judged and criticising yourself. Okay, that's way too many cards. But I'm going to take the one on the top and I'm going to look at the one on the base as well. Queen of Cups we have. And what do we have here? Six of Swords. Okay. It's kind of like a time to try and move away from... Um, this restrictiveness, this perception, the illusion, the um, the judgment. Because it's doing your head in. It's like it's stopping you from seeing your own worthiness. You know, whatever has happened, there will be learning in that situation. Whatever has happened. If you genuinely feel that you did something where you messed up, you know, so what? You can learn from it if you're giving yourself a hard time over something but if somebody else is giving you a really hard time or if people are slating you or have been or you're fearful there's just lo there's loads of emotionality in this and it feels very spiky very prickly and I, f I feel like you've kind of almost like withdrawn whether you've withdrawn in yourself and put a front on to the world so you kind of it all looks like everything is quite good and um, yeah maybe carrying a mask how interesting look that we have here this this bear here the spirit of the bear and this bear is wearing this person is wearing a bear mask covering up your bareness covering up your vulnerability hiding this is definitely there's an element of hidden energy in your reading I, i'm feeling oh like i can't i can't quite get to the specifics but maybe maybe that's a reflection of this and it, it's either because obviously it's a general reading and so the message is meant to reach, reach a lot of people so it will be unique to each of you or it's just that maybe something has either been hidden from you or you have been hiding from yourself 
or someone has, or you have retreated and sort of hidden away for fear of judgment. Okay. Right, so this, this reading is actually asking you, you know, we're asking how will your situation resolve? Right, slow it down. That's what your reading is asking for you. Primarily your first message, slow things down. Slow it down and let's just let's just get real about this situation. Let's really think about the true essence of who you really are. You know, you are an amazing being on this planet with so much to give. Whatever has happened to you, whatever you feel. Yeah, let's slow down and get real about who you are. Now, let's ask for additional clarification guidance around this. What should pile two actually be doing? Okay, your card is flying out. Okay, make a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy. You deserve it. Back to this fear, obligation, guilt again. Right. Make a decision. Make a choice. What's right for you, pile two? What is right for you? Slow it down. What do you need and what is right for you? Such a strong message coming through for you here. Really interesting that, that, you know, the bear energy, bears encourage their young to be playful, to get out there, to, to discover themselves. They'll say no if they step into the parameters of something that's unsafe, but they, they have a lot of freedom to roam. Okay. Pray from the heart. This came out in pile one. So if any of you were drawn to pile one, you might want to check that out too. Pray from the heart. Prayer can really move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. Okay. Now, whatever your situation this is time to remove those emotions and really, it's not remove them, it's listen to them. We can't just remove emotions. So uh, if you're new to my channel, I, I, I won't talk about this for too long because I don't want to interrupt the reading, but I wrote a book called Mindfulness Meets Emotional Awareness. And you might want to read if, you are, if you're interested, there's a, a chapter about fear and there's a chapter about guilt. And it might pay you to read those because those emotions, even though they're really challenging, are actually very valuable to us if we understand them as a source of empowerment. It's very interesting if you've got people around you that make you feel guilty, you know, they often don't have a conscience. You know, pe guilt is an awful emotion if it's used as a guilt trip, if it's used to manipulate. But you know, guilt is, in its, in its highest vibration is an amazing emotion because actually, if you, if you are someone who feels guilty, it means you have the capacity to care about others. It means you actually have the capacity for empathy. People who act without conscience don't feel guilt at all. They can hurt other people, they can cause harm, they can cause damage, and you know what? They don't feel an ounce of guilt. So can you see that guilt is actually valuable to us? It helps us to care, it helps us to monitor our uh, to measure our, our actions, but it shouldn't be a ball and chain to wear for, a, you know, the rest of your life if you have done something that you feel you, you wish you hadn't. And it's certainly not okay for people to use it as a weapon in order to manipulate people. This is a real misuse of that emotion. So check out that book if it is of value to you. There are exercises in it to really help with these emotions as well. But Look at this. Your reading is very, very clear. Um, how will this resolve? It, it's like making a choice and a decision to move away or not be maneuvered by those emotions. This is the real, these are very self-empowering readings, actually. Pile one was as well. Draw a further card. Can we maybe just have a, a little bit more information, a bit more clarity about what pile one, sorry, pile two can do. 
sorry, I'm on pile one, but pile one had some similarities. Right, you have the card, no, it's not yet time. This is not the div divine this is not the divine right time to take action. Please be patient. But the opportune moment is approaching, right? You're being given the heads up, right? That makes sense now as to why we have the four of swords and the six of swords. You know, the four, you're waiting, you're contemplating, you're reviewing, you're observing, but you're not being tangled in the emotionality of it, but you become an observer of your own experience. Now, the Six of Swords will be a time when you do actually then take action, you do move. So I'm seeing that there will be timing and potentially quite soon, time to take action, time to move this forwards. Right now, it's like writing your energy and seeing through the illusion and recognizing that there will be something, there will be a decision to make. In a way, now is the time to make the decision. You may not take an action yet to follow it through, but now is the time to make the decision within yourself about what you will and won't do. I think then you'll be guided or, or, or something will happen that will make, make it clear that the timing is right to instigate the choices that you pile to and making that are right for you. So this is really quite clear steps for you make the decision and then you'll be shown the way let's bring in another card may we ask for more information please more guidance as to the steps along this pathway how will this situation resolve the sixth house lovely the work health and duty back to duty again duty area of your life so fear obligation guilt that sense of duty that sense of responsibility Okay. Oh, wow. And then we have Uranus. Your potential for sudden change, enlightenment and awakening. I think like a bolt from the blue, something is going to happen. We'll draw cards to clarify this actually to find out more about it. I think something is going to happen and an event will take place suddenly. It will be like a, a window of opportunity, a bubble where you can take an action and you can move this forwards. Let's get some clarity around that. What is this event, this something that's going to happen? Completion and enlightenment. Okay, so we've got a big shift in energy being shown here. Something, well, I, I think something that's going on around you that is triggering these feelings um, is actually going to come to a completion in its own way. And I don't actually think you have to initiate a completion. I think the completion will happen. You'll be freed from this. Kind of what you're being asked to do here is to energetically center yourself in your own clarity as to what is right for you. Rather than feeling like you have to do what's right for someone else, center yourself in what is right for you. I think the circumstances will bring about almost like a guided completion to something. Something will draw to a close and that will trigger a circumstance where you can then move forwards. It's really interesting. The story of this card is also about overcoming fear. So something's going to happen. We'll draw more cards. We'll ask for additional information if we can seek it. Something will happen to bring something to a close. And within that closure, there will be the opportunity for you to then actually take an action that will move something forwards so that is what you want. So you'll overcome, and because this is about overcoming fear. Yeah, how interesting. I feel like, you know, for some of you, and this won't be right for all of you, for some of you, the circumstances around you in a, in a strange way, they, they are, there's a safety in staying with the familiar, even though you don't like it. And I, I get that. I think we all do it. It's such a human thing. But I feel like something's going to change and shift that will create an opportunity for you to step away from something, which is interesting. So something that's been caging you in or making you feel like you can't have something you really want or yeah all that all that obligation that guilt then then steps into a space where well actually I can now move something forwards it's right in front of me I've got to overcome the fear and I've got to grasp this that's the kind of flavor here 
let's get a little bit more information please for my lovely pile twos can we see how this is going to evolve or pan out or additional guidance okay so six of pentacles okay okay we have let's just see what this is your cards flying out king of wands okay this is beautiful and seven of cups right so you're going to um find yourself in a position where basically you can make a choice suddenly a circumstance where, where it would feel like if at the moment it was really difficult to make a choice even though you kind of know that deep down you really need to or you ought to or you want to for your own well-being it's a good ought not a bad one um as opposed to feeling like i ought to you know not have what i want and support everybody else so this is a different energy here something turns where an opportunity in real terms it'll be a physical or a health opportunity or a phys an actual physical happening here that will give you the opportunity to t to make a real choice okay there's some fear to be overcome but i think the circumstances are going to present themselves to you okay so that's really interesting yeah we have the empress as well yeah and, and literally, it will enable you to seize the moment, to, to decide that you can nurture the thing that you want to nurture. It, it changes, something changes. Yeah, I, I actually think circumstances will emerge and evolve. This reading is kind of giving you the heads up about that, because if you're in the zone where you actually have in yourself made a decision about what you really want, circumstances are then going to be orchestrated to create exactly the opening for you to move this forwards to have the choices that at the moment you feel are monumentally difficult the key is making the choice within you and it's almost as though once you've made the choice the universe can sort of say right okay we can now change this for you you know, we'll make sure this circumstance comes to a completion and that will give you the right to step up. That's very interesting because if you are tuned into or you were drawn to pile one, I would highly recommend it actually. Then I think there may be some really key information in there for you. Okay. We then have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. There is a beautiful outcome here these cards here eight of wands and the high priestess there is a really stunning outcome here for you uh, and, and I'm really voicing this because I think at the moment that, that there's quite a, a it feels quite a challenge around you of this you know this whole obligation fear guilt kind of energy I almost feel like there is something ahead of you in the future now obviously in many ways, readings that predict, it's a challenge really with a reading that predicts because what we do in the here and now creates our future. So a reading will be present to where you are right now and, and be working on the basis of the energy. But, but I am going to say that this is predicting almost like a, a guided or a, a guided outcome to something that will be, I think, significantly almost like a death it's got a destiny kind of fate flavor about it with the high priestess so and i think it's going to shift and move very quickly towards something that that is really right for you that will really help you to flourish you know the, both the queen of it's really interesting the, the empress the queen of pentacles are both cards of um abundance they're both cards of fertility and sort of like pregnancy we often see a pregnant woman depicted in both this is also a rune of pregnancy it's a space of possibility it's a gestation period it's like something can emerge something can be born so i do feel that your current situation will resolve i feel this is your reading actually i don't think i need to draw any more cards my beautiful pile too your situation will resolve Make a clear choice as to what you actually want. I don't think you have to take action immediately, but I do think the timing is not far off. And with the Eight of Wands, we've got a fast moving energy. So I don't think that, and, and the sudden change, look, potential for sudden change with the Uranus card. 
I think if you make a clear choice as to what is what you really want, what's the outcome that you desire, really in your heart of hearts, like even make it privately to yourself. This is what I know I really, really desire. Whether I, this is what I want or I want out of that, or but try and focus on what you do want. And um, when you know what you want, it is as if the universe will orchestrate a scenario that brings something that is currently restricting you to an end. And you will then be able to step up into what you want. And this is going to emerge quickly. It's going to happen fast. I don't see this as being a long way away either. Um, the key is your personal, almost energetic reference within you. And then stepping over the fear of allowing yourself to have the thing you really, really want. This is your reading pile too. I am sending you the biggest hug ever. I'm so sorry there's been all this tangling of, of, of fear, of guilt and stuff, but do check out that book. All my free online library as well has a lot of information about emotions and psychology. Um, it's a completely free resource. Just scroll down through the description box or the comment that I've posted, along with the timestamps and all the cards I'm using and all that stuff. There are links to all those things, so you should be able to find them easily. And also my subscriber email list if you want to be in my monthly prime draw. Um, I'm bringing forth cards, um, more cards this year. I have a pack of oracle cards. I do give away um, some cards already and my diaries and my moon journals. So because I'm bringing more products forth, I'm going to be giving away sort of physical products as the year emerges. So if you want to be in that monthly prize draw, add yourself to that email list. Thank you, beautiful souls, for sharing, liking, subscribing. If this is resonating with you, um, you know, do join me for another reading really soon. And I'm just sending you all the love in the world. Um, my beautiful pile two, tons of love. Hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. You have such an interesting energy in your reading. You really, really do. Uh, this is so powerful. Let me talk to you about what is coming through already. So, Karma of Kutuala. This is... So, this card talks about following your bliss. Like, it's, a, it's an energy of... It's actually an energy of higher purpose and higher calling in the best possible way. So, it's asking you to find divine happiness but it's not that the happiness that's prescribed by your ego it's the happiness that's prescribed by your soul's yearning now perth is a rune of initiation it's like a rite of passage it's very personal but it is like rising to a higher level of consciousness it's doing what is ultimately going to make your soul sing and persevering at it. There's a really strong energy of perseverance. That was the first thing that really, as I brought this card um, into, you know, my space, having cleared away pile two, I just thought, wow, there's a persevering needed here. That was what was really coming through because you're, you're transforming. This feels like the phoenix rising from the ashes. And, you know, I think maybe the situation around you, how will your situation resolve? There may be some inf something going on around you where you are almost debating whether to push forward with it or not. And I, I think the differentiation or the, or the, almost like the criteria to follow, to, to know if this is right to push through, is whether this is really singing from your heart, your soul, or are you following an ego route? And also to do with persevering and not just giving up. And Because on the one hand, it's, you don't just give up and go and find an alternative. You know, the grass isn't greener in this instance. You know, sometimes that can happen where some, we, we have a go at something and it doesn't work out. And we think, oh, this is the universe's way of telling us that this isn't working. I thought it was my calling. I thought it was my purpose. I thought this was the one or the right situation. And then something else comes along and you think, oh, well, actually, I meant to do this. This is not about taking... I wanted to say it's not about taking the path of least resistance. But in a way, it kind of is. But it's the path of least resistance that is to do with your higher self rather than your ego self. So let's 
shift this up. I, I need more, far more context and we need to get a lot more information for you, pile three. What is this about? Could we receive guidance, information about pile three's current situation? Now that's way too many cards. I'm going to take just the one from the top. What do we have actually? Okay, we got the hanged man. Okay. Hmm. I think some of you do have a kind of a choice in front of you, actually. And maybe you're deciding what to pursue or what not to pursue. Now we have the card of victory, six of wands. And we have the eight of swords. Man, you're in a dilemma. Okay, how will this situation resolve? Goodness me, you are really unsure as to which way to go. Really, I think you're actually almost unsure as to which of the pathways will really hold the future you desire. Or you're tangled between two choices. It could be more than one choice, but it's, it's the key here is that it's a pathway to your future and you don't know which way to go or you're really concerned about which way to go. There's a choice in front of you. Five of Pentacles, okay. Hmm. How interesting. Yeah, does the shoe fit? <clears throat> it's coming through with this card. Does the shoe fit? Okay, so if you're not facing a choice around something, this might not actually be the right reading for you, but how will your situation resolve? I think there's there's sort of more than one choice available to you, and I genuinely think you're a bit stuck as to quite how, which way to go, you know, which is, which is going to be the best fit for you. How is this going to be? We have the Six of Cups. Okay. I'm looking at the teddy bear's picnic here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, what are you going to bring to the table here? What are you going to listen to? Seven of Swords. We have Ten of Cups. And then we have Temperance. Okay. I sort of want to say take your time actually making this decision. So how will your situation resolve? You're probably, if, if this choice area is really resonating with you, you're probably almost hoping that somebody else, maybe the guidance will come in and someone else might, or spirit will offer you a really clear dis sort of indication of you know, that's the right one to go for. And we can do a little bit of cards around this in that way with temperance. Again, back to this feeling of choices around you choices, decisions, what to do. There's so much dilemma around you. I also think you're uncertain as to what will really make you happy. Or maybe back to this sort of soul versus ego. What's really going to make you happy? What's going to make your heart sing? What's going to give you the, bring you in the long, the long-term vision? I feel like you do need to look ahead and think about what you really, really want. Look to the future. How do you see yourself? You know, sometimes there's a really good exercise where we can, if we have a choice in front of us, a really good way of working with this is to um, sit sit with, let's, let's say you had two job off opportunities or, you know, even maybe it could be two, two people, whatever, or maybe you've got two bosses. Think about those two new bosses, those two job opportunities. And just get yourself into a sort of a meditative state and kind of try one on for size. Put one on and just dream yourself into what would it be like to be with that person? You know, sit down, really meditate, try them on. Is this going to be a good fit? Will the shoe fit? Really sit down and just imagine yourself into the future that you want. And would this job, this person, this situation, how will they fit with that? Will they evolve with you? Will they grow with you? How is this going to look at the end? And just sit in there and listen to your body because your body bypasses, your body's feelings and experiences bypass your ego mind. Your ego mind is loaded with perceptions your mind is full of stuff because we're all absorbing all sorts of stuff and we're weighing things up and we're trying to work out what to do. Your body will give you really clear indications. So if you lean into one route, you can really feel in your body what it feels like. Does it feel joyous? Does it feel elated? Is this like the rainbow that you've been looking for? Does it make your heart sing? What are you going to feel like in that long-term picture? 
and then try the other one on for size. You know, clear yourself, cleanse yourself, get up and jump around a bit and then sit down um, with the second scenario. And if there's more than one scenario, but but I do feel you're really struggling. You you want success. There's success promised here. You you know, you know you want a specific outcome here with the six of ones. You know what your long term vision really is for yourself. I think you're quite clear about it. Actually, the question is, the decisions, the choices you're facing, are they going to be leading you to what you really desire? I feel there's a choice in front of you. Let's draw more cards and seek more information, please, for my lovely pile three. Deeper insights are at hand. How interesting. Your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forwards. Okay, so your overall plan is good. You're on track with what you desire and what you want, but deeper insights are needed. Okay, so back to try something on for size. Reflection is needed. What you want in the, your overall vision is, is stunning. It's great. What's on the reverse of the pack? All is in perfect timing. The doorway will open. Um, yeah, this is it. It's time to take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way. So the doorway actually is open right in front of you. The timing is right for you to make a choice here, actually. This isn't about something that you're waiting for. It's almost as though what, what your reading is saying, pile three, is the doorway is right in front of you. The choice is right in front of you. The question is, which, which doorway are you going to walk through? And so because it's in front of you, it's a question of trying to get the right one. Let's see, what else are we showing? Can we have any more insight into this? Okay. <laughs> Okay, right. Don't. This is so clear. Don't settle for less. And your loved ones are safe. Let go of fear and worry. Okay. I think maybe your choices, your choices will, you're aware that your choices affect other people. Okay. And you don't need in this instance to be concerned about the other people. They will be looked after. They will be fine. This is a time when you're needing to make a choice that's really significant for you. And don't settle for less. You know what the end goal is. You know what you want. So this is about actually getting gaining deeper insights as to the current um, scenarios and deeper insights as to how that energy might evolve. Let's get more information. Now I'm seeing two choices. So I'm just going to go with a card, two cards. We're going to ask information about one choice. So get yourself centered from just like I said about trying it on for size and dreaming yourself into those scenarios. Let's do that for you. Let's do that right now. Let's ask for please. Um, so let's say there's there's avenue number one, choice number one, and center yourself on what that route is, or that situation, and then we'll center on the second. So Situation number one, please. May we have information about situation for one or guidance or a flavor of the energy around it. So this is Libra. Diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. Um, the energy is emotional, sensitive, caring and loving. Okay, it may concern um, family, a mother or a child. Okay, but so there we go. On one side, you've got... Um, something that is actually feeling quite balanced, quite emotional, it's quite, it's quite family orientated, <clears throat> very nurturing, very gentle, very emotional, very gracious. So this is one choice that faces you or that you are facing rather than in your choices. May we ask about choice two, please? What does point choice, choice two, my words are getting muddled. What was choice two showing us, please? Oh, wow, Uranus. Um, okay, so very dynamic, sudden change, enlightenment and awakening. Okay. It may not be quite as harmonious, okay. But very dynamic nevertheless. Okay, first house. Okay, I think, I think you're facing two choices at the moment. Um, what I am going to say is I think one of them looks, it's a bit like the grass is greener. It's very much about first impressions, um, first house. I think it's uh, what you see. I'm going to say what you see may not necessarily be what you get. Um, 
it's it's very I think there's there's a quite a I always want to use the word intoxicating. There's something quite intoxicating, quite exciting about a choice in front of you, but it doesn't really, I think it might be quite a superficial. I think this might be the more ego based. Um, it will give you a quick fix. It will give you the something that actually um, makes you feel pretty excited and, and, and alive and wonderful right now. I'm not sure with first house, it's because it's kind of about impressions as opposed to a depth. I think there are two choices around. One has a much greater depth to it, a much greater emotionality. This is where your reading is saying, look, listen to your heart and your, your, your soul is yearning for something. Your soul is yearning for something and, and there is a choice. And alternatively, there's something that could be like that sort of, you know, I wouldn't have to work at this. I get something straight away, but I don't know that it, it, it has as much uh, long term reward or it will be rewarding. It's that grass is greener kind of scenario. So really worth thinking about which of these choices, what they what they mean for you. Here we have what's the kind of energy in the middle here? What's the relationship here? in the middle what's the connection here dissipating ah this is really clear there's a story with this card this is about missed opportunities actually um, this is a, a person and her canary who have they're watching tv and watching a detective story on tv and for years and years and years they talked about writing a movie together and which is really interesting because I think you're writing, I think the doorway is quite big for you here. It's writing the next chapter of your story, actually. And it's kind of like, what do you want that story to look like? So this is a big situation. And how it, how it evolves is really interesting because it's down to your choices. Um, dissipating is really interesting. So they were always going to write a movie, but they never get round to it. I think they even actually got the, the, I think they in the story, they sold the rights to the movie and they got a ton of money. But instead of sitting down and writing the movie and getting even more money and even more satisfaction and all the fame and the reward and the acclaim that they wanted, they just didn't bother. They went on a major cruise, blew all the money and then end up living in their kind of bedsit, watching everybody else's movies on TV. So it's kind of like there is a choice in front of you and it is to do with um, your higher guidance. Now, it's not suggesting that you should um, recklessly follow your bliss, <coughs> you know, in a funny way, because this card speaks of following your bliss. It's like, do you follow, it, it's like differentiating between what bliss is. Is bliss your soul's yearning, something that will bring you at, at, at this initiation, this higher level connection or is it your soul's yearning for something that will be dynamic in the moment it's kind of like having a bag of sweets isn't it it's like a child having a bag of sweets and and saying look you know we can you can have this whole big bag of sweets right now or you can have a small bag of sweets and we'll put this money aside and then you know when you get further down the line you'll be able to buy the best toy you ever wanted and and but there's they succumb to the sweets. They want the bigger bag right now. It, it's this I feel is like the choice in front of you. It's really interesting, but it involves you stepping up or bypassing something to access it. But it it's like something could pass you by, which is really interesting energy. However, I'm a great believer that if something passes us or we pass something by, that the opportunity, the universe inevitably shows something up again for us. If we miss one opportunity, I always think another door will open later on. So you have a choice, but I do think there's a significant choice in front of you. How interesting, Six of Pentacles. This has come out in one of the other readings. Okay, where are you going to invest yourself? This came out. If you were drawn, I think it was the previous reading, Pile 2. If you were drawn to Pile 2, it may be relevant to you. It's fascinating that these readings are very, there's a huge emphasis, how will, will a situation resolve on what you yourself can, your, you yourself need or can do. So, <clears throat> Six of Pentacles. Right. I feel I want to draw more information about this six but let's let's see what else we're shown here can we just have more guidance more information 
Okay, the Emperor. And the Magician. Okay, this is really real right now. I know I said that already. It, this is it. It's time to take action now. This is em emphasizing that. I was wondering what the Six of Pentacles was telling me, really. I, I feel like it's like now. It's grounded. It's now. It's happening. It's real. You know, what's the, what's the choice that you wish to... What, what web do you want to weave for the next chapter of your life? You know, how are you, how are you going to dictate the future from here this is a huge emphasis on self-responsibility here but on your right to choose it's conscious free will and choice how will the outcome be what's the outcome let's ask what the, i mean we're given this information it feels as if it's coming through so strongly what's the outcome really in fact let's look at the outcome for both of these choices you know because maybe with this another door would open it feels like this has a sort of a superficiality about it if i'm honest a quick fix whereas this is a long term but actually you could be torn so what's the you know, because sometimes we want a short-term goal. Our circumstances are challenging and we're seeking something that's going to help us right now. So let's ask, what's the long-term outcomes of both of these choices? Okay, I was looking at these cards here. Okay, so we have Eight of Swords and we have the Chariot. Okay, I think this will be quite short-lived. Okay, it would run its course quite quickly, actually, in some way, shape or form. The chariot's quite fast moving. You have to face a challenge. Uh, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I think you would, I think what would happen is that if this is quite appealing at the moment, I think you would see very quickly, you'll see it very quickly for what it actually is in terms of its, its potential. May we ask for more information on that one? Okay, so we have the three of swords as well we have the two of swords and we then have the card of strength okay so i suspect in reality this probably doesn't have a long-term future you know i think i think there would be it might give you something in the immediacy but i'm not seeing a longer term future for, for one of your choices or at least i'm not saying you won't come through it you'll learn from it there's always the gain and, and, you know, windows, I always believe windows of opportunity do open and present themselves again, potentially. So not in exactly the same, the same circumstances, but in perhaps something similar. Okay, so with the card of strength, you'll learn from this, whatever happens. And maybe that's for some of you what is right at the moment. But the, let's have a look at the other choice. Okay, so the other choice, we've got nine of swords. We've got King of Pentacles and we have the world. Okay, this is in many ways a more challenging choice right now, but we have a web behind the Nine of Swords and we have the web here in the High Priestess. This is a much more challenging choice. And yet there is so much more potential in it. Why is it challenging? Why is this, because on I want to say sort of on paper, on the cards, this looks like a much more rewarding option. Why is this such a challenge? 10 of wands. Okay. Gosh, there's some kind of a fear or a, a concern or a, a burden, or there's something in the way here for you to which is really interesting perhaps that's where the perseverance came through there was that that came through right at the start I thought you know persevere with something here okay what is this about what's the challenge that's in the way there is a challenge in the way Ooh. okay we have queen of cups two of wands and the moon okay We've got the moon and we have the two of wands. Why is this so difficult? Gosh, there are really intense emotions involved here. I think this is a route because it's like, I think this is ultimately got real fulfillment about it. Queen of cups, absolutely. No, unquestionably. You know, king of pentacles, the world, queen of cups. I think this choice has everything going for it. 
in the long run. But you'd have to face something here of yourself or you'd have to, you've got to face up to something to be able to, to take this one. That's, that's the challenge here, to walk through that door. This is it. It's time to take action now. I, th I think that's, I think one is like a safer option and it may not have the longevity about it, but it's a reasonably safe option. It, it's a bit like, do you know, it reminds me of a decision that a very, very dear friend of mine made, made once many years ago and, and he and I had a groovy conversation. Oh, I've just noticed my candle's gone out. I don't know when that went out. I don't know if it went out in your reading or the previous one. But I'm going to relight it, okay? That just feels really important symbolically to do this. Okay, let's swap those over. Yeah, I don't know when that went out, but you know, there's something about, you know, lighting that flame, knowing that you're being guided. So the story of this was, this, this guy was a um, super, super good friend. I remember him telling me, I mean, he, he said, I'm a big fish in a small pond. And you know, he, was, he was quite a good dancer. I actually met him at a dance class and he thrived in that environment. But it was a very small world, a very small town, a very small environment. And he, he and I had a lovely conversation one day and he just said, you know, I had an opportunity to go and work in the States. So he was work, lived, has grown up and lived in a really small town, in a little town in the UK. And he said, I had an opportunity to go. And he, he was very aware of the potential that was being offered to him. And he just said, I couldn't step out of my comfort zone. I chose to be, to remain a big fish in a small pond. And I actually, and, and it's worked out okay for him, but it is interesting. I mean, his world isn't in any way bad or negative, but a part of him, I know, as he voiced it openly, kind of almost like goes over what would have happened if he'd had the courage to step up. And I feel like there's something here about something that feels safer, more secure, versus something where, where there could be a bigger, a bigger opportunity. But the bigger opportunity feels a bit more daunting because it is a bigger opportunity. And yet, so, so there's something, there's two choices here, staying in the safe zone or reaching out into the, out of your comfort zone somehow. And yet this has longer term potential, I believe. Yeah, nine of pentacles and six of swords. I think this has a lot of long term potential here, really. It's like that movie. Do we just go on a cruise and spend all the money or do we actually sit down and write the movie and, and kind of really reach that that heavenly life of, I don't know, whatever it would be in this story, you know, having being Hollywood superstars and writing the most amazing movie in the world. So there's something here about taking something forwards, taking a risk, reaching out, stepping out of your comfort zone. And I think the outcome, how will your situation resolve with these choices? Your outcome is down to the choices that you make. We all have conscious free will and choice. I'm not saying that an opportunity won't come back if you are working on this one, if you just don't feel you have the energy to take this forward right now, it's not for any reading to tell you what to do. No reading is ever here to, to do that. But I do think there is an immediate opportunity right in front of you that would involve you stepping up or reaching out, stepping out of your comfort zone. Let's just check in. I mean, will another opportunity come in here? If my lovely pile three decided to, to, to stay with this because it's a little bit more steady at the moment. There you have Uranus, which is not a steady, <laughs> it's not a steady energy. Ace of Cups, okay, so you can be safe here. I think there will, there will be other opportunities in the future. The Aces are all about beginnings. There will be other opportunities. I think there will be other opportunities in the future. Absolutely, Four of Wands, Eight of Cups. There will be other opportunities in the future to be able to move something forward. So if this is you and just right now you haven't got the energy and this is feeling like the, the right thing for you, this reading is most definitely confirming that feeling there will be other opportunities in the future. It's just that there is one right in front of you that, <coughs> that, that is a major doorway should you wish to take it. 
Um, this is your reading pile three, so how fascinating. How will your situation resolve? These readings have sort of like taken me aback because they haven't, they have been very much about um, what's going on for you in such an immediate way and, you know, actually what you can do. Although we did say we would ask at the beginning, what can you do or, you know, to move this forwards? So uh, actually, let's just have a sneaky peek into the future of this one as well. We're seeing, let, let's really ask if you do, what is the, what is actually the outcome of this? What's the major outcome of this? Oh my goodness me, Ace of Cups, Temperance and the Hierophant. So this really is, um, so we have, absolutely there will be other opportunities in the future and this opportunity right in front of you is seriously bringing you about a new beginning it's it's kind of like a commitment um, or a, a higher this is very much about a higher calling to have the hierophant and the temperance card too this is a higher calling it's it's really about this is sort of like your purpose your destiny this there will be of course other opportunities but this is a moment in time when you can seize this if you wish to right now I'm going to stop waffling. I've said enough for you today. Pile three, this is your reading. I am sending you all the love in the world. Thank you so, so much for being here. And thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, for sharing your stories. Do keep us posted as well in the comments. It's amazing to hear from you. And um, if you would like to be in my monthly prize draw, I'm moving towards giving away uh, physical products because I'm going to be bringing some more cards and books out this year. And so uh, I already give away a pack of Oracle cards and my diaries and journals. So if you would like to be in my monthly prize draw, it is a subscriber offer and I have a subscriber email list. If you add yourself to that, then you will um, be in my monthly, we, we literally draw, we use a Google number thing and draw names out of a hat. And then I announce the winners here on YouTube. So do watch out for that. I am sending you so much love, beautiful souls. Um, way to go um, is all I can say. Uh, just talk about, you know, being in the moment and embracing life at a time of profound transition for humanity. Um, these readings feel very poignant and relevant to the energy that's going on around us. I'm sending you so much love, um, Pile 3. Thank you for joining me. And if you feel you'd like to tune in with some other readings, I would love to see you here again. Tons of love to you.